Welcome to MLB The Show 23. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I just wanted to make a quick video telling you some settings you should use, telling you what you should do first in Diamond Dynasty because this game is brand new. And if you're brand new to the show series in general, you're going to need to know these things. If you're not new to the show series, you kind of already have an idea. First thing you want to do when you load up the game is go into your settings, your gameplay settings. You want to go over to control, use the bumpers, go over to control. First thing you want to do is go down to PCI, PCI Center inner outer color transparency this is pretty much just preference the things i use is center diamonds inner wedge yellow 70 percent like i said this is all just preference and subjective but you want to be able to change those the only thing i would say is outer isn't really that important so don't use that for defense make sure your pitching is on pinpoint even if it's kind of hard to do it's going to help you in the long run in order to throw better pitches and stuff like that make sure your throwing interface is on button accuracy because that's the better one for your camera i use strike zone too that's also kind of preference just make sure you do something to where you can like see mostly the strike zone and not the batter because at the end of the day you want to be able to see the ball to hit the ball so don't make a canon review that maybe looks better because you can see the batter and the batter animations and all that just make sure you can see the strike zone so you can see the pitches and when you back out of it it's going to ask you to apply changes you hit yeah the important thing too is you want to make your changes and the settings on the home screen because if you go into a game and change the settings and stuff like that it's only going to save for that one game but when you do it on the home screen it's going to save across the board so when you load into diamond dynasty they're going to have you do a tutorial so that's going to be important to do so go ahead and do all that do the tutorial stuff kind of get a feeling for the game and then once that's done go to your packs go to open packs if you pre-ordered opened all your packs make your team as good as possible and then the thing to do after that do not go into online stuff okay especially if you're just now playing the game everybody's just now playing the game and there's going to be people that went online especially like youtubers and stuff this early they already bought a bunch of stubs and they're going to play online with good cards and me along with you we're not going to have good cards yet so we're not even going to be competitive but don't be tempted to go into the store and buy it and buy packs okay this free one you can do if you have it if you have enough you can get that choice pack but don't buy the stubs i wouldn't waste your money but do not get these show packs they're going to be useless save your stubs because when you save your stubs you're able to do these collections these collections are going to be very important all these live series collections after you finish these live series collections there's a reward like larry doby Hal newhauser stuff like that these these collection rewards cards you take these and go to these collection rewards and get even better cards honus wagner hank aaron things like that billy wagner then you take those up to the division collections and get the even better cards these are usually the cards that are going to be best in the game and they take a while to get that's why it's important to like save your save your cards you get don't sell them unless you get duplicates so you can throw them into the collections because the collections give you the good cards the players to look out for if you end up pulling them like Shohei Itani, Mike Trout, and Jacob DeGrom. Usually if you get those cards, do not sell them. Do not sell them. Just stick them in your collection unless you get more than one. If you're lucky enough to get more than one, you're going to sell it and make a bunch of stubs. But I'd say hold on to them. Especially, maybe not even throw them into the collection. Because if you get like Trout and Otani early and then they go up in price, you're going to be able to make money back. But these other sets are going to be offline stuff. So you'll get those from that. So the first thing you want to do like gameplay wise is go to the programs, do the Team Infinity programs and these other programs. So these are going to be the important things you do. Go offline, get these free packs, get these free players. There's a diamond right there, Justin Verlander. The baseball world class is going to be very important because there's going to be 90 overall players automatically, 90 overall players, 90 overall player choice packs, more choice packs, 90 overall, 90 overall, 95, 95. So you have what? Four or five 90 overalls, then four or five 95 overalls right off the bat. Then these 97s, 97s, 97s. It's going to take a while to complete this program and it's going to be it says 282 days left but this is the quickest way to get best cards is just doing offline stuff so take your time and to doing the online stuff and then when you get xp for the games you can do this program get free packs get team captains all that so that's why you don't need to spend your stubs spend your real money on packs because you're going to get them in offline play anyway so i think that is about it with things you should do off the bat and mlb the show 
so i will be making more videos on these when they come out and stuff like that i don't know if i'll be doing just like videos on doing the programs and things like that i'll probably get the sought after cards and then make videos on that or just do different type of videos i even i may even do road to the show videos i don't know but if you stumbled across this video I appreciate it. If this helped you, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment something in the comment section. Comment what card you're excited for in MLB The Show 23. And yeah, I think that's about it. So without further ado, like I said, thank you so much. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.